officially here, so it's a great time to go fly fishing and help a wonderful cause. Yeah, there's a charity event coming up in beautiful Gunnison, Colorado. It raises money for a great cause while giving participants access to a world-class private waters and professionally fly fishing guides. We've got Patrick Callahan. He is the event director. It's called Risers for Rhett. He's joined by Kathy Shorma, whose daughter Sophie will benefit from the event. This is 19-year-old Sophie. She has Rhett syndrome, and we've been learning a lot about this this morning. Uh, why don't you just give us a little information about this? Okay, so Rhett syndrome is a um, genetic neurological um, disorder that occurs almost exclusively in females. Mm -hmm. And um, so that their first year of life is usually pretty typically developing. And then um, for some girls, it could be as early as six months or as late as two years where they can um, start to lose skills. So in Sophie's case, it was around 15 months. And she lost um, her hand skills um, before she could manipulate small toys and, um, you know, objects just like any toddler and then that was gone and she had mm -hmm. some early language and um, then all those words disappeared and and then she was um, starting to you know cruise furniture and, and pretty soon she couldn't even um, you know make those steps to transition yeah. to walking so we realized that there was definitely something wrong and and, and she um, was misdiagnosed at first, right? Yeah, so she was misdiagnosed autistic because of the, you know, all the, you know, the regression. Mm -hmm. But she's 19, so fortunately that is doesn't usually happen for families today. They can get on mm -hmm. a path. And, um, you know, another big thing with Rett syndrome is they have so many medical complications. So, you know, the list is long yeah. and it's, um, you know, um, seizures, scoliosis, anxiety, um, yeah. um, eating disorders, and um, yeah. swallowing dysfunction, and breathing issues. So a, a place like um, a RET clinic is so important to our oh, girls. Absolutely. Yeah, so what sure. happens with the, at the RET clinic? What can they help you with? I mean, is you, you know, when you all both wor walked in here, and you said a lot of uh, the girls can't walk anymore, but Sophie can. Do they help you at the clinic to, to regain some of these um, skills? Yes, so Sophie, um, in 2013, she went through a major um, sp um, spinal fusion because she had the scoliosis. And she, um, you know, she had a whole new body again after being curved 120 degrees. Wow. She um, had to relearn how to walk and with this new straightened body. So, you know, uh, we spent a lot of time at the, you know, with the rehab group and PT at um, Children's Hospital. But, you know, we were very familiar just from, you know, spending time yeah. at the RET clinic and having to be able to walk in the door and see 15 specialists in one day and get a, a real um, coordinated plan for your child is, is amazing. And if Sophie had anything to say about the clinic, it would be 15 visits is too much. Yeah. One visit is awesome because, you know, she's a young adult and she yes, wants she to be is. social and she doesn't want to be at the clinic no, all absolutely, the time. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we've just got a little time left. We want to talk about this charity event. It's so important sure. to this. Tell us about this, Patrick. Rises for Rhett is an organization. It's part of a 501c3 mm -hmm. um, charity organization. Mm -hmm. And we put on two events a year, one in late April, one in late September. And they're fly fishing events. And they're held in Almont, Colorado, which is right near Gunnison. Yeah. And uh, through some generous fishermen, some wonderful fishing guides, and some sponsors like Fish Pond and, and Sims, um, everything comes together and we raise some money and the proceeds go to fund the RET clinic at Children's Hospital. Wow, it is a beautiful, this is really spectacular. I've been to these waters many times uh, near Gunnison. Uh, but do you have to be a Coloradan? Do you have to be a fly fisherman to take part in this event? A absolutely not. One thing nice about our event, Risers for Rhett, is that we have some wonderful guides from the Colorado, or from the Gunnison Crested Butte area. And they're very good about teaching beginners and people who've never picked up a fly rod before. Oh, so that's, that's awesome. That's not necessary to, to be an experienced fly fisherman, to go out and have fun. Yeah, an incredible event for mm -hmm. a wonderful organization. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks you're so welcome. much. And our our yeah, last event raised $75,000. So. 
Let's raise a little more then, yeah, right? Yeah, we're looking to hit the $100,000 <laughs> Those risers, mark, right? So. That's what's about, <laughs> rising for the occasion, right? Exactly. Rising for rent. <laughs> Let's rise to a challenge. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks, Thank Kathy, you. and thanks, Sophie, for coming on Thank with us both. today. Uh, risers for Rent is a three-day event. It's happening October 5th through the 8th in Almont, Colorado, and that's near the Gunnison area. If you'd like to participate, visit risersforret.org. And remember, all proceeds benefit the Rett Clinic at Children's Hospital, Colorado. Well, you've got just a few more minutes to take advantage.